In times of self-doubt, may you be curious to discover who you are, to hold fast and be empowered in knowing you are worthy. May doubt be a tool on your path and not the destination. May you believe in yourself. Steve Nathanson will light the chalice here in the sanctuary. And those of you at home are invited to light your own chalice now. In these hard times, let us look first to the response of love. In the midst of challenge, may our chalice flame bear witness to the inherent worth and dignity of every human being. In the midst of uncertainty, may our chalice be a beacon of encouragement that our values may guide our choices. Let us look first to the response of love. Before we sing the first hymn, let me remind our remote participants to leave yourselves muted. However, we want you and whoever is with you to sing with us as big and as loud as you like, so make it a joyous experience. Please stand in body or spirit and sing the opening hymn, Meditation on Breathing, number 1009. I'd like to say a word before we begin to sing this. This has three parts, and they're all pretty easy. Um, the melody we're going to begin with, the drone is really easy. It's just um, breathe in, breathe out, and you, and you repeat that, right? But I don't want you to feel like you have to stay on any one particular melody or part. I want you to move around as you feel. And then at, when we're about to end, I'm going to hold my hand up. That'll be that we're on the last verse, and then we all end together so that we can feel everything and just be in the moment. Because Diane was wanting us to be in the moment and be present this morning. So this is what we're going to do. So if it ends up being a concophony of all kinds of weird stuff, let it be that way, okay? Let it be so, okay? We're going to start out by jam, play, and I play in the melody through once, and then we'll start singing, okay? One, two, three. Welcome to the Unitarian Universalist Community of Cambria. We are glad you have joined us today. Our UUCC sanctuary sits on land that the Salinan Chumash indigenous peoples historically inhabited. We honor their contribution to this region and give thanks for the opportunity to gather in faith on their unceded territory. Let us respect their legacy and protect their history as we occupy this sacred space. As Unitarian Universalists, we celebrate religious diversity and welcome all who journey in search of faith and spirituality. The UUCC is a lay-led congregation run by the democratic process. 
We invite speakers from different religious traditions and spiritual or scientific backgrounds to speak at our pulpit. We encourage presentations covering a variety of topics and areas of interest that connect with the UU7 principles. Today's service centers around the first principle. We affirm and promote the inherent worth and dignity of every person. My name is Diane DeMarco, and I am your worship associate for this morning's service. Hi, Diane. Hello. I would like to extend a special welcome to today's guests and visitors. We're glad you joined us this morning. And if you wish, please raise your hand if you would like to introduce yourself. Yes. I'm uh, Jenny Roham, and I'm from the UU Church in Fresno, and we have some time here in Fresno. Welcome. OK. If you are not on the mailing list, please visit the UUCC website at uucambria.org so that we can keep you informed about all of our activities. Members and friends, please check out what's happening. The eblast sent to you every week. This is a great way to keep up to date with our latest news. And if you wish to see this or any other past Zoom meetings, Recordings can be found on the UUCC website and on Facebook. So again, good morning and welcome to everyone. The affirmation is both a recognition of the nature of this community as well as a promise to which we aspire. Let us now recite the UUCC affirmation. Love is the spirit of this church and service is its prayer. This is our great covenant to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth and freedom and to help one another. We set aside this time for any special announcements that would be of interest to our UU community members and friends. Please keep your items short and to the point and if something needs more explanation, contact the person after the service. And if you'd like to make an announcement, raise your hand and when Andy or I call your name, please step up to the podium or unmute yourself and then speak. All right, any announcements? I have one. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's finally coming to, to happen. This Wednesday afternoon, online, Zoom, uh, we'll have a religious education gathering. We are going to watch a TED Talk titled, We're All Made of Stardust, uh, which is something that connects us all literally, and then discuss it for uh, starting at 4 p.m. Wednesday, going until 5.15, so an hour and a quarter. Uh, about 20 minutes of video and then uh, a little less than an hour to talk about it. So you're all welcome. The web, the Zoom link will be in what's happening um, online. And if anybody has trouble with that, give me a shout and I'll make sure you have the connection. OK, this Wednesday at 4 p.m. on Zoom. Thank you, Andy. Um, there will be a social and environmental justice meeting on March 6th here in the sanctuary at four o'clock. And um, I'll put the word out to the committee at least, but pencil it in. No, don't pencil it in. It's happening. So I hope you guys, I hope everybody can come. We're going to decide, kind of flatten what we're going to do with our money this year. Would love your input. Sorry, folks, but I lost my voice, so I'm going to have to speak this way. Um, the there was a uh, Bureau of uh, Energy Management meeting uh, the other night. Um, it was an excellent meeting. There were two nights. There's the, the um, open 
period for registering your viewpoint on the offshore wind farm that's going in here. I believe it ends on the 20th. So um, if you're interested, um, I'll be happy to send you an email with the link so you can express your viewpoint on that matter. Thank you. Okay, Andy. No announcements from our online folks. Okay. Next week, Andy Fagan will present Keeping Christmas All Year Long. <clears throat> Sharing together some of our personal and significant joys and concerns brings us closer as a faith community. We invite you to share the milestones that are deeply felt as a part of your personal life, express a gratitude or perhaps offer an acknowledgement. But please be mindful and considerate of all who come to worship with us this morning. The collective flames of these candles embody all the joys and concerns which may have gone unspoken today, but are deeply felt in this community. Our first reading is all about quotes regarding communication. One. We shall never be able to remove suspicion and fear as potential causes of war until communication is permitted to flow freely and openly across international boundaries. That's by Harry S. Truman. Two, the problem with communication is the illusion that it has been accomplished. It's George Bernard, Bernard Shaw. Uh, Number three, nothing is so simple that it cannot be misunderstood. That's Ralph Waldo Emerson. Number four, communication leads to community, that is to understanding, intimacy, and mutual valuing. And that's Rollo May. Number five, I'm sorry you find communicating so difficult. Next time I'll read your mind. <laughs> That came from some ecards.com. <laughs> Number six, the art of communication is the language of leadership by James Humes. Number seven, I'm not really a control freak, but can I show you the right way to do that? <laughs> Vicki Rubin, special educator. Uh, number eight, if you just communicate, you can get by, but if you communicate skillfully, you can work miracles. That was by John Rohn, author, speaker, and entrepreneur. Uh, Robert Frost wrote this, half the world is composed of people who have something to say and can't, and, half, and the other half who have nothing to say and keep on saying it. <laughs> and uh, the last one, the hardest assumption to challenge is the one you don't even know you are making. Douglas Adams. Let us now join in a time of meditation, of prayer, and of silence. Let us seek the quiet and the calm, laying aside our struggles. And in the silence, may there be a reverence in our hearts, a thankfulness within our spirit, and a deepened understanding of the meaning of our lives. Let us enter the stillness.
Light shine in, illuminate our inward view, help us to see with clarity. Shine bright and true so we may join our songs in new sounds that become full symphony. The second reading is an excerpt from A Hidden Wholeness by Parker J. Palmer, entitled Company on the Path to Inner Truth. We all need other people to invite, amplify, and help us discern our inner teacher's voice for at least three reasons. One, the journey toward inner truth is too taxing to be, to be made solo, lacking support. The solitary traveler soon becomes weary or fearful and is likely to quit the road. Two, the path is too deeply hidden to be traveled without company. Finding our way involves clues that are subtle and sometimes misleading, requiring the kind of discernment that can happen only in dialogue. And three, the destination is too daunting to be achieved alone. We need community to find the courage to venture into the alien lands to which the inner teacher may call. Our service today is a congregational circle. As you can see, we're in a different kind of formation than usual, which means we want to hear from each one of you. We use congregational circles mostly to build community and learn more about one another as we continue on our spiritual journey. A conversation requires a balance between talking and listening to each other. Remember that our tendency is to make decisions based upon what we already believe. We encourage you to be present with each person who is speaking. That means you stop thinking about what you're going to say, to stop judging what is being said, but instead practice your ability to listen deeply and be open. Also, we ask that you practice speaking up for yourself, sharing with us your thoughts, your feelings, and your opinions. For some, that is difficult, but we're asking you to do it anyway, as a practice for us to get to know you in a deeper way. I ask you to stay on topic. If you get off on a tangent, I will ask you to come back to the topic at hand. And please do, don't dominate the time since we'd like to hear from every person here, but don't cut yourself off either. Um, we have uh, time to hear from everyone today. So take your time. And if uh, it goes too long, I shall ask you to finish your sentence and then we'll move on. Our goals for today, we're gonna practice our covenant. We're gonna share more about yourself and go deeper. Uh, we're gonna build on authenticity. We're gonna give voice to your thoughts, feelings and experiences that are being witnessed by others. We're gonna to get to know other you use in a new way. We're gonna be supportive to each other and we're gonna participate in a mutual you you experience together. So the questions for today are as follows. You can answer one, two, or, or all three, or you can focus on one or even answer just two. That's entirely up to you. The first one is, what concern or concerns do you have in your life right now? The second one is, what concern or concerns do you have for your community right now? And the third one is, what concern or concerns do you have for your country right now? The morning offering will now be given and received. Please remember we are a self-sustaining congregation and provide all financial resources for our many ministries. We recognize the spiritual value of generosity and invite you to participate. If you are viewing the service remotely, please use the one of the methods shown on the screen. Thank you.
our thanks for all gifts given and received and for the work of this community. <clears throat> We're going to have our song now, so um, we'd like you to join us in the last verse, if you will, but remain seated, and uh, we're going to sing one voice. extinguish the chalice let us recite the valediction the flame of this chalice will no longer burn but the light of the flame within our hearts continues to shine brightly illuminating the love felt in our community okay we stand in one voice for the sacred beliefs. One circle, two hands join our hearts that meet. Responsive together in time and through space, we yearn through our souls for the peace that is grace. Helping each other to make it through. One community, one world, we embrace, we do. This is the sound of all of us. Nice. 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 Thank you. Thank you. 